Hey guys, Cameron Blagan here. Um, I have got this all set up. Quick note, uh, if you're following along exactly, I also added a uh, Velcro strap, you'll notice here, as well as, uh, it's, I don't know what to call it, but it's kind of like that anti-slip pad uh, that people put on their dashboard. I just cut a little piece out and put it right on there, and it works great for batteries. Um, and I also uh, went ahead and just zip-tied down this receiver antenna. I'm probably gonna end up moving that around again, uh, but for now, that's where I put it, um, and I think I don't mind it there. We'll see if the camera ends up getting in the way or not. And that is exactly what we're doing today, is the camera setup. So, uh, with that said, let's go ahead and get started. So I have the Diatone SP3 here, um, and if you haven't seen my review on this, you're going to want to check it out. Really state-of-the-art, honestly. It's got uh, the full deal here, um, and it's adjustable um, to different powers, and uh, really, honestly, you got... A lot going on here as well as I mean you got a microphone and it mounts that's the main reason I got this baby is because it mounts it's mountable um, now I did find a problem uh, when I put it on here obviously the propellers hit um, and at 4,000 kV this thing would get shredded so uh, what I decided to do instead see if I can mount it on the top here um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and route it to the back um, and then it's gonna poke right through uh, this hole right there if all goes as planned um, so I'm going to play around with this and then I will get back to you guys. It is going to have to mount kind of diagonal like this here um, because of the mounting holes, but we will figure this out uh, together and I will get back to you on the video uh, if you're following along exactly. If not, find a nice place uh, to mount and that is a good note while we're on that topic. Do not uh, put anything where it could be chopped by propellers. You know, spin your propellers, make sure there's no resistance um, or anything of that sort. Okay, so uh, you can see I have... Um, got this mounted somewhat precariously, but um, I just decided to leave the antenna hanging off the end. I mean, it moves around enough that I figure if it gets hit, uh, nothing will happen too bad to it. Still kind of crossing my fingers on that one. Um, I guess I can always solder a, another pigtail if I really needed to. Um, I have also measured off these uh, wires. I've pre-tinned a few of them. Um, I'm in the process of measuring these. Um, I have this mounted right here. I accidentally ripped off the SMA and had to resolder it. Uh, so be careful uh, while you're doing that stuff to be not uh, accidentally rip anything off. I just have some wire tubing here on the outside of this uh, just to keep it safe. Uh, antennas can be somewhat uh, finicky, especially if they start grounding out on a little bit of carbon, so I just wanted to prevent any of that um, and uh, made sure to cover that up when I zip tie it down. Um, and I didn't zip tie it down super hard, so hopefully I'm really hoping that this thing doesn't uh, break on me at all. Um, yeah, so now I'm working on uh, mounting the camera. I just took off uh, the, the wires on this guy, um, and I am about to uh, flip this upside down, actually, because this camera is in backwards, uh, and then mount this baby uh, to the drone, and then I'm going to solder the wires directly to it. Uh, it did have an audio wire and a microphone, but I took that off uh, because my... Um, VTX already has one, and I decided uh, that I didn't want two, because you don't need two, um, and I obviously then don't need the audio wire. So I took those off, and I am going to use, well, I have to use the wires that are already in the uh, VTX here, because they are in these cool little plugs right here, uh, which is nice, uh, but a little less versatile, but that's okay. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just plug this baby right on up. Um, so you can see here, I have the camera, uh, and I left it... Uh, disassembled so I can more easily show you the uh, wiring here. So, uh, and you can see I have it mounted on the front uh, with the screws here. And uh, that just slips right in there once it's all wired. Now I left these two wires, uh, you can see the black and red wires hanging here. Uh, I left them um, open because I wanted to let you know that uh, the my VTX uh, 5 volt out was not uh, putting out 5 volts so I ended up a uh, 5 volt off the flight controller and I just put it right on the camera and now it is working uh, and so it um, <coughs> now transmits video through the flight controller. Um, I'm also going to be doing a video on the USA Toys channel on how to edit your OSD which is a big question that comes up with VTX's with a built-in um, OSD which is an on-screen display, which is where it kind of shows things uh, like your pitch, your voltage, uh, stuff like that. So really it's a basic setup. Uh, this um, VTX uh, just has these two wires here. Uh, these two wires, and this will say on the pinout of your diagram if you have it, is for telemetry, and so it connects to one of the uh, transmitter receiver RT, R, R2 and T2, uh, R2, T2, kind of like R2, D2, um, on this flight controller here, and uh, whatever your 
VTX is it will let you know where those are if you do have one of those things. Uh, your flight controller might not be prepared or equipped for that if you don't have a, um, or excuse me, your VTX might not be prepared for that if you don't have a telemetry port, but if you do, that's where you're going to want to plug it up. Um, I've also got this running uh, down here and it plugs up uh, a 5 volt um, and ground on here and that comes straight from the battery actually not a 5 volt excuse me because this board requires uh, full 12 volts um, so that's where that comes from and then again the camera just runs off of here or off the 5 volt here uh, the most important part is this white wire here on the camera um, and that's just a video cable that comes back to the VTX and that's where the video comes from and then transmits to your goggles to get it to match up then you just have to just pick the channel, it'll show up with the uh, OSD over top of the camera and you're good to go. I also strapped down this, uh, this is just some wire protection here so it doesn't ground out on the carbon um, and I've got my uh, antenna coming off here, uh, sorry, there the, there's the wire coating and then the FPV antenna coming off there and that also just comes directly off of the VTX. So this has been an awesome build on the OWL FPV OWL drone. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. Feel free to leave your comments below. Uh, again, this has been a really basic video on just kind of how to get set up and how to um, build a drone. Generally, it doesn't go into all the details, but there's plenty of vlogs and or there's plenty of blogs out there, videos to help you with that. This will just hopefully give you a good idea of kind of all the stuff that goes into making one of these drones. Um, that it is easier than it seems, and that there are a lot of working parts that you do need to get working. So, uh, again, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Stay tuned for some more exciting videos coming up uh, in the future, and make sure to subscribe. See you guys in another video. Thanks for watching.